Yo, what's going on, Epic7? I'm Sue, and this is my beginner's guide to Abyss Floor 98. Floor 98 will have you squaring off against Leo, who's honestly really annoying. He uses a lot of burns, and as such, you're going to need a lot of cleansing and a lot of healing in order to sustain through this floor. The core mechanic of the floor is this passive here, Special Bomb Preparations. At the end of someone's turn, when no enemies are inflicted with a special bomb, plants a special bomb on a random enemy with a two-turn timer and silences them as well for one turn so essentially these are an undispellable bomb and an undispellable silence if you don't know how bombs work once they tick down they do a massive amount of damage to the target and also stun them for one turn in order to actually get rid of the bomb and the silence since you can't dispel them you'll need the character to attack the green clinode or later on in the fight the purple clinode that leo spawns essentially just Attack the jewel with the character that has the bomb, it'll go away, but it will then pass itself to a different person. It's essentially hot potato. You want to leave either your tank as the person holding the bomb, or just keep passing it until Leo is eventually dead. Let's take a look now at the team I decided to use, which is, for the most part, accessible by every single player. Three of them are connection heroes with a four slot as a flex. In the tank slot, we have Adventurer Raz. I don't think I have to reiterate why this character is amazing at this point. If you've been following along with the Abyss series, you already know. Best tank in all of Abyss. Level 66 star Awoken is ideal. Level 50 could probably work. Try to get skills up if you can. Try to get your Awakening skill tree here to plus 30 if at all possible. As for gear, you just want to have Arius as the uh, kind of artifacts here. Health percentage necklace. Health percentage here on the ring. And boots are speed. Your primary healer is going to be Tamarin, the best PvE character in the game and freely available from the game's connections. Plus 7 on Song of the Forest and plus 1 Shining Star are required for this character as far as skill levels go. Level 50, 5 star Woken is probably fine. Artifact, I highly recommend Wondrous Potion Bile. If you don't have it, something like Magaraha's Tome will probably work just fine. For boots, speed as the main stat. Ring is health percentage as the main stat, and necklace is health percentage as the main stat. For our primary damage dealer, I decided once again to go with Commander Lorena because she's one of the best single target DPS in the entire game. Feel free to use whatever your strongest DPS in the game is, aside from blue DPS, because obviously Leo's green, you'll have mischance. So whatever the strongest DPS that you have on your account, on your game, that is the character you should be choosing. And they should be level 60, Six star Woken because just makes sense. Gives the most amount of damage. Try to have the character as skilled as possible. And in the case of Lorena, try to have the skill tree leveled up if at all possible. As for gear, Daydream Joker for the bonus damage. Best PvE damage artifact in the game unless the boss mechanics say otherwise. And then obviously here I am on the free destruction and penetration sets that were given out during the 6th anniversary Dash Pass event. If you're watching this and that event has already ended... Feel free to use whatever gear you have on your account, whether that's stuff you've acquired from hunts, uh, arena, or things like the Adventurer's Path with its free attack set and free critical hit chance set. As for the last character here, I've decided to go with Montmorency. Feel free to use anything that you want in this slot. I've cleared this with two DPS, although it is slightly inconsistent. I found that having two healers is the most consistent. You could play any healer in this spot. Angelica, Destina, Hazel. Right? Any of these will work fine. Montmorency is just the one that I already have leveled on my account here. So that's why I decided to go with it. Boots are speed. Ring is effect resistance. And then health percentage here on the necklace. Magaraha's tome in order to help her cycle. So that, that way she can keep the burns and unhealables off of the characters that are on my team. Uh, level 50, 5 star Woken is probably fine. Try to get, again, skill levels as high as possible. And then the Awakening Tree here plus 30 if at all possible okay now that we have seen the team let's start the fight you can't close your eyes. so just like with previous abyss floors we are going to walk down the ads first before focusing on the boss let's do this. skill three with Roz to get defense buff Can 
have Lorena start to work down this blue one. Because we'll let Roz, if he gets a lucky defense break here, take care of the purple one. Alright, and this hit from Lorena should kill it. Now we work on the blue one. It's actually Let's kind of funny. We could S3 here, because it'll be back up by the time we get to Leo. Alright, and now all we have to do is essentially just walk down the Kades. It is actually kind of funny, though, that this Cadius is not immune to sleep. Usually bosses are. Getting a stockpile of souls here. Now we move on to Leo here. So as you can see, the bomb here was placed on the arena for two turns, and she is silenced. Now, you can also see here's the jewel that I have to hit if I want to get rid of that. <clears throat> we can start off with idle mode. So get us our attack buff. We can burn here with Roz. So, we are going to pass this off with Lorena. And now it's on Roz. I don't actually mind it being on Roz. We can burn here. Since he has permanent immunity, death break is not something we're going to do. He's fairly squishy anyway, so we could just kind of blitz him down when we can. Alright. So here's all the burns. We could boost up here with Tamarin. To fully recover and cleanse, we could soul burn with Montmorency. Or just use an AoE heal if you have it on your healer. Otherwise, just use what you got there. Now we can kind of whittle down Leo a bit more. I'm just going to use the S2 here. Just because I don't want to hit him and, and kind of accelerate him even faster. Now, when we get under 30%, this bar is going to fill and we're going to move on to the next phase. Alright, so Motmo, we don't want to be silenced. So we pass the buck here. Again, we don't really want Lorena to have this. Since I'm close enough to 30%, normally you would hit this. If I bring him under 30%, it should move him to the next phase. Hmm. No, I think we'll get stunned, so we have to hit this. There's no other way. Passes the Motmo. So now we can Soul Burn and go here and bring him under 30. Now he moves to his next phase. So when you bring him under 30%, 
he has this here flying raku reset so his next turn he is going to hit everybody with a bomb literally all four of us will get hit by a bomb let me see if i can kind of show that i don't want to kill him too early so that way you can see it if you get into that situation Okay, so you'll get into this situation where he spawns three gems, but everyone has a bomb, which means one person must take the bomb. I recommend your tank. So we'll have the tank hit Leo. Then we will have Tamarin hit this one. See, it's gone. Lorena hits here. It's gone. Motmo hits here. And see, Raz took the brunt of that. Now we can S3 to get our defense buff up, heal up some damage on Raz, and we can just proceed to go for the victory. Spiral breakthrough on Lorena. Idle mode with Tamarin. Get our attack buff up. We don't want to push Leo here, so we're just going to S2. And then we're going to soul burn here, and this hopefully picks us up the win. Ooh, almost. Alright, Lorena will pick it up here. Boom. There you go. So yeah, there it is. Abyss Floor 98 in a nutshell. It's pretty easy as long as you have two cleansers. Again, you could do it with two damage dealers, but I find two cleansers plus a tank with one strong single target DPS is the easiest way to clear this floor. If you have any questions, as always, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you have an alternative team you want to suggest to your fellow players, post that down there as well. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll see you all in Abyss Floor 99. Later now.